There's no need to be banging the crockery. Don't start again. If I want to start, I'll start. I'm disgusted with the two of you. Watch my lips. Nothing happened. I won't be able to show my face. You've made me the laughing stock in the street. Oh, well, there's no new there. How do you think it makes me feel, eh? When people find out my wife's been running around with, with, with tractor boy. If you're trying to make me think I wouldn't have been better off going with you when you're doing a damn good job. Don't tell me you was actually thinking of going off with that, that animal. No, of course not. He must have been supping the sheep dip. Who knows what he sees in you. He must have been really desperate if he thought you was going to go off with him. He must have had something wrong in the head. I'm not going to listen to any more of this. Where do you think you're going? Work. See? How do I know if you're telling me the truth or not? Oh, yeah, Liz. That's right. I've not really been working my fingers to the bone over at that factory. I've been feeding pigeons in park. Anything to get out the house, because I am sick of the sight of you. Oh, hiya. Oh, all right, look. Well, then, anybody going to wish me happy birthday? I don't believe it. Well, why didn't you tell me? Apparently, there was nothing to tell. I'm the one who should have been told. I'm the one who's been betrayed by two women. I'm speechless. I wish he was. How come you're so sure nothing happened? You don't know. She could have been lying to you and all. Yeah, well, you think what you like. Take it this means my birthday party's off, then. What planet does he live on? Well, it gets my go. She's acting like now it's happened. If I'd have been up to a bit of monkey business, you'd have me crawling on my hands and knees, begging forgiveness. Yeah, well, you should know. You've had enough practice. Exactly. And she hadn't even said she's sorry. I've been a model husband to that woman. Model husband? Living with you has made her so miserable that she hasn't even got the sense to go off with a better bloke when he comes along. And you think Tractor Boy's a better bloke than me? Me and every other sane woman in the world. A woman? You're not a woman. You're a brat. And she's a slapper. Oh, and she's so lucky to be living with a scrounging pig who treats her like dirt. I'm going to school. Happy birthday. Thanks. Did you hear that? The mouth on her. Yeah, well, she's probably a bit upset. You don't think Janice would have gone off with a bloke like that, do you? She wouldn't leave me. Not that, Janice, no. What are you doing? I I'm washing up. Look, do you want a brew? I'll make it. No, I can't stop. I've just popped round to say that Baldwin's keeping us late. I've no choice. We need the money. Right, well, before you go, sit down. There's something I want to say. I haven't got the time. Well, make the time. You, you won't get the sack for five minutes. Go on, then. Look, I've been thinking. Oh, I? I've decided to forgive you. <laughs> well, that's very big of you. Look, it's not easy for me. No, I don't suppose it is. I've had some right queer looks off folk in the street today, I can tell you. I'm sure. But this is our family. And as long as you realise that, then we'll say no more about it. Right. Can I go now, then? But you're sure nothing went on between the two of you? I'm sure. And you weren't leading him on? I thought you said we weren't going to say how tell us about it. Right. Look, I want us to go down the Rovers tonight, as a family, for Ali Ann's birthday. You might have let me down, and yourself, but you're not letting Ali Ann down because of your shenanigans. I wouldn't let our willy hand down. I want people to see us as a family. Solid as a rock. Fine. Anything else? We are solid, aren't we? I'm still here, aren't I? I've got to go. So where they are, then? Thanks. It was nice of you to remember. Hey, up, how are you? Hey, gay of love, let me buy you a drink. Uh, maybe later. Suit yourself, I don't ask twice. Hey, hello, love, how's it going? This has got to be the most boring birthday I've ever had. Have you got me a present? 
Uh, no, no, I've not had time. My prez is the birthday spirit. Oh, so you'll be buying all the drinks then? Yeah, that's right, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, drinks all round. Yeah, eh? Right, yeah. Yo, hello. How's everything on home front? Family all right out there? Janice well? And what's that supposed to mean? Eh? Well, don't get touchy. I'm only inquiring after the welfare of your good lady wife. She's fine. I'm fine. We're both fine. All right. If you say so. I do. Dad, is Johnny still coming? Yeah, she'll be here soon. Well, as soon as she's finished at the factory, don't we? Yes, love. Ah, Betty, love. Yeah. Do you see that table there? Yeah. I want the drinks to flow like wine. And keep them flowing all night long. We're celebrating. Oh, yeah. What's the occasion? It's my girl's birthday. And it's not every day you're 18, so let's make it a good one. Yeah. OK? Wait a minute. You're 18? Uh, yeah. So Natalie employed an underage barmaid, did you? Didn't you tell her? Well, she didn't ask me. It could have cost her a licence. Yeah, but it didn't, did it? Oh, you're not going to tell her, are you, Betty? Well, I just don't she doesn't ask me, that's all. I suppose I'd better treat you to your first legal drink. Hey! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, happy birthday, yeah. Yeah. How did you get on? oh, great, they loved him. Hey, come on, show us a ring again. Oh, good one, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh. Well done, oh, Chaka. Cheers, picture hey. myself, Lev. Oh, where's the big day? Oh, yeah. I thought you weren't coming. Oh, no, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm bowling yet. It's still time out there. Anyway, mm. happy birthday. Oh, thanks. You having a nice time? <sighs> yeah, yeah, not bad. <laughs> hey, come on, Dad, Janice wants a drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course she does, yeah. Hey, drinks all round, eh? Hey! I'll get him. You all right, Fred? Do you know, you look as if you've just sucked a whole bag of lemons. All this happiness is getting me down. Can I offer you a lift home? Uh, I'm sorry, I've finished my drink. There's something I want to say. There's no need. Let's just forget the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, I know, but... I know I always take you for granted. And I never, ever tell you how much I appreciate you. But I want you to know. I really do. You do? Yeah, I do. It's nice to be appreciated. Yeah. Are we all right, then? <laughs> all right. That's a relief, I can tell you. I don't mind admitting. I was a bit shocked when I found out somebody else might fancy you, even if it was Tractor Boy. That's enough, Les. Please don't say any more. No. Mind you, when you think about it, it's a bit of a turn on, eh? It's like seeing your own wife in a wet t-shirt competition or something. No, Les. Hey, you might seem a bit jealous at first, but <laughs> when you think about all them blokes fancying you, it means I've got something right, eh? Les, will you shut up? 